Okay, this is just uh, just a quick uh, little take here on some of a lav. And uh, it's, um, let's see, it's Saturday morning. I'm, I apologize, Sunday morning, uh, February 10th. Uh, it's about a full day after the storm. And uh, they've done some clearing here on some of the lav. Uh, there's a lot to be done, or a lot remaining to be done. As far as I know, the snow emergency has not been lifted. And I base it on the fact that there are really no uh, no cars parked on the left side here as I drive along. So usually they uh, they keep it in, in effect and in force until they get the uh, the banks cleared down pretty close to the curb of the side that's that's got no cars parked. Uh, plow truck parked on the side. Uh, Laronga Bakery. <laughs> a, I just saw a truck go into um, into Market Basket. So. They're getting deliveries, of course, and things will be getting back to normal there pretty quick. Their entire parking lot's all cleared out, so yeah, they didn't waste much time on that. And, uh, you know, the driving's so-so, it's not great, but it's not horrible either. So, uh, let's see, our little side streets look to be pretty well cleared. Um, you know, considering the, the circumstances, uh, fire, fire station there, and there's Lowell Street. I drive up that and go up to right up to Spring Hill where I live. And there's my car wash over here on the left. And the place I buy my gas. Which the price has been fairly moderate at. Uh, all things considered. Uh, and I'm going to swing over to Star Market in Border Square. Right quick and see what's going on over there. And you can see the snow banks are eh, three or four feet high there. I, I've seen much worse. I mean, you know, some people, oh no, it's bad, bad, bad. But quite frankly, I've seen a lot worse than this. Uh, over the years, but uh, I think that the thing that made this storm so interesting or unique or whatever or significant is um, <clears throat> is in how fast the snow came down, and at the you know for that matter how you know how fast the winds were and so on. And that that does make it uh, more of a challenge, obviously, for crews that are trying to clear the snow. Uh, it's very difficult to stay ahead of it. I'm told that Route 93 North, going up to New Hampshire uh, yesterday morning was an absolute mess uh, to the point where you you just couldn't even discern where the where the lanes were or anything so that tells me that um, you know the guys really had their hands full trying to clear it out uh, but anyway this is uh, the intersection of Cedar and Elm Street and I'm gonna swing over to Porter Square right quick and see what's uh, what's shaking over there <clears throat> there's a few cars out but it's of course it's only 530 in the morning so I'm not expecting to see much there's Cedar Street looking up there and you know, let's see, we're driving right along here, and everything's pretty cool. And, uh, man, I got to say, though, this this Honda is the absolute nuts. This thing gets through everything. This little, uh, this little cross tour, it's a nice car. Very, very pleased. All kinds of little snow sculptures along the way people made. It's kind of cool. Uh, you know, so, anyway, it appears that Star is open, I think. We'll see what's going on there, taking, getting the snow out down the parking lot here. They got, they got their uh, snow removal equipment hard at work here. They got the, the bucket loader and stuff, filling up trailers with snow and getting it out of the parking lot. That's pretty much how they took the snow out of my driveway yesterday, which was kind of cool. Well, here we go. That's the way we do it in Massachusetts. 